The steam engine was designed to reduce human labor. The engine was born out of a search for a cheap and convenient source of power. Thomas Savory was an English inventor born in 1650 in Modbury, England. In 1698, he invented the original steam engine, and he called it the miner's friend. It lifted water from the mines using a vacuum it created in the engine produced by a condensing system. But the early model of a steam engine gobbled great quantities of energy, making it expensive to run. The next person to make progress on the steam engine was Thomas Newcomen. He was born in Dartmouth, England in 1664. In 1712, Thomas Newcomen made refinements, making the original engine a true steam engine. He put the large lever at the top of the machine to transfer power from the engine to the water pump, making it more efficient. James Watt also made refinements to the steam engine. He was born in 1736 in Scotland. Watt aimed to reduce the expensive and excessive fuel consumption of the steam engine and created a faster and more efficient engine. In 1774, Watt joined with Matthew Bolton, an entrepreneur. Bolton provided Watt with a salary and encouraged him to build better engines. From then, the steam engine was transformed from being used primarily as a way to pump water out of coal mines to being used for automobiles, trains, and ships. The creation of the steam engine led to a boom in the transportation industry and provided more employment opportunities. Steam engines allowed trains to offer better means of transporting raw and finished materials, leading to more effective productivity in other industries as well. As the new means of travel became more accessible, people from rural areas were able to travel to urban areas for work and vice versa. This resulted in a more mixed society. Today, 95% of nuclear power plants use steam engines to generate power. Solar thermal plants also use steam turbines to harness the power that steam provides. Steam was a very important part of the technological advances in the Industrial Revolution, and the technology continues to help us today.